all right welcome to the stream um haven't checked this out for a while so i hope the settings are okay um got a new microphone now it's running into an actual audio interface which is cool it's like like a mic preamp processor and i'm actually just using the um loopback function of my audio interface so what i hear is what i you should be hearing and uh yeah just let me know if it sounds okay and um hope you like some lo-fi music i'm gonna be uh working on a bug that's been there for yeah a year ago by matt pickering um saying valid whole fits are too slow to be enabled by default so uh the way we're gonna do that is um first of all we're gonna we're gonna try and skip um completely unconstrained holes that is you know if, if just everything in scope matches the hole that is and that's not very useful right um so we're gonna try and figure out like when is a hole when is the type completely unconstrained and um and we're gonna try and see if we can we can kind of detect that and uh, fix it right um the other trick we're going to try uh, yeah so it's, it's from iso vector right it's like he's doing a custom constraint so yeah i mean it's very if um if type checking is doing a lot of work uh and we're trying to type check again as everything in scope it's gonna be it's gonna be bad right so yeah we're gonna see if we can uh fix that a bit and um let me just dial down the compression a tiny bit here let me know if the sound sounds okay because uh, i mean i hear it in my ears but that's um i can also hear myself talk right um so uh yeah let's uh check out i think i also have this uh, new green screen mat thing here so i can see the mouse and keyboard and yeah i hope it's uh enjoyable all right so this is a bug we're trying to fix they're too slow so some suggestions here have been um we want to guarantee that they're quick so some people say that we should just not have valid toll fits by default but uh, i mean obviously i think that's a bad idea i mean a lot of people because you know you really have to they have to kind of be there as uh, just by default right for beginners and stuff right um so we're gonna try and make them so that you know they they don't need to be disabled by default right um yeah all right um yeah disable whole fits for unconstrained holes i like that and uh yeah Hmm. Alright, so we got a good test here at least. Let me just say uh, I'm gonna check the chat. Hello chat. Alright, shows up. And then we have alerts up here. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so this is a test we're going to be working with and uh, let's see what happens I think I'll, I'll uh, change to the percent mode here make it the default that was the one I was using the other day oh yeah I have to save All right a little bigger all right so go to gc uh get data um 
right let's check out master all right we are pulling master so i was working on a fix um not too far back so yeah i'm hoping we won't take super long to actually actually get up to speed again but yeah we'll see um right the name hey notum Hope you enjoy some GHC development. What is the type checker really doing? Huh? Let me see. Scopes. Should all match up, right? Uh oh. What is this? Yeah, I mean, GSC development isn't too bad. Um, what? Shell GSC Linux. But, um, I mean, there's a lot of junk under the hood, right? That, um, uh, that you kind of, I mean, you wouldn't expect to be there because it's like a pure language and you're like oh it's gonna be all pure and nice but uh, to make it fast you just gotta um all right what is going on and get to reset hard head get status Uh, all right, this is the first part of development, right? It's actually getting it and making it build. And I thought... Uh... Okay, here we go. Uh -oh. Update. I think I have to do this. Yeah. Okay, and then... Alright, let's just see if this actually builds. How did we do this again? We went to Hadrian build, right? Dot Hadrian build... J... Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since last... I always remember, forget like the exact, um, the exact things that we do, but yeah, that's good. Um, thing is that you know I'm trying to make valid whole fits fast, right? So I want a like a representative speed and I'm guessing kind of flavor quick will not do as much optimization um, but I have no idea what flavor quick does actually yeah do, 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 do. Uh, good to have someone in chat because you know we're going to be doing a lot of Waiting for GHZ to build, right? Um, right. So let me check out. Yeah. I mean, it usually doesn't take too long. I'm worried that, you know, because I'm also running the stream, it might be even slower. But the stream is usually like mostly GPU dependent, right? Uh, and you know, I wish, but we're not using GPUs to build GHC, right? So, see this water bottle? 
love this water bottle. Got got it sent from um, uh, Jean Yang. So I helped Jean Yang out with some uh, some uh, Akira stuff. He sent me a Haskell water bottle. How on brand for this stream, huh? Alright, let's, uh, while this is going, let's actually see if we can uh, get started on putting the tests there, right? Um, I always forget how we do this, so uh, what I usually... Okay, so we have a test case here. Okay, let's go to, I think it's uh, test suite. And then test, and then... Because um, they've been reorganizing, right? And they've been moving things around. Okay, I'm just going to do git grep. Uh... For typed homes, right. Here we have where do we so there's in GCI scripts and there's type check should compile. Yeah, this is yeah, it's always in type check. Type check should compile so um let's see now we want to write a new test uh vim uh hard hope fits hs and we set paste and we just paste this in okay now uh, we have hard home fix uh, so in this folder there's some runner right so git grab valid home fix um all dot t right valid home fix okay uh, let's Follow it all fits interaction. What is this? Hmm. I don't think I added this myself. But uh okay. Oh, should... Alright, uh so we're just gonna copy paste these ones. And we'll write hard. And it's extra files. Valid home fits. Hmm. No, we don't need any extra files here. Okay, let's uh, actually just go here into the local home fits. I think that is just what we need. Um, valid home fits. Hi there, Lenny. Valid hole. No, hard hole. Fits. Hard hole. Fits. Um. How is the build going? Oh my god. Let's just see what happens. Okay, uh, error when building shake room build setting. No generator for underscore build stage zero. Okay, I think this is because, um, yeah. Boot. And configure. I just always run boot and configure. Uh, let's see. OK. 
Okay. And then, yeah, because I might have to, you know, because I, I last built like 130 commits ago, right? Um, so it might have like changed in the meantime so much that I just have to kind of uh, nuke it, right? Let's see. Do, 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 do. At least we have the uh, test there. And then I, there is like some flag I can write that just kind of makes it just run that test, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna see how long it takes, and then we gotta, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, it doesn't crash immediately. That's good. Very good. Boo, ba -da, boo, boo, boo. You want to hear my keyboard mic? Okay. Right now. Oh, what you can mostly hear is the fan on my computer going. Brr. You know, if you need cheap heating, you just uh, start compiling GHC. Ah, I'm gonna turn that microphone down. I should like mount it like right above the computer, just just to have like a fan mic. Yeah, exactly. So I think then we write the uh, like Hadrian test only, and then the hard home fits, and then we just see what happens, right? Beep, 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 beep. Remember, stay hydrated, folks. Because I always forget to drink water. Um, but my trick is to have like a big water bottle right in front of me, right? And then uh, it's hard for me to forget it. Okay, um, so here we have the tests. Okay, let's, let's open yet another window. And let's just start um, looking at the actual... Okay, turn off. Like, look at the actual code we're going to be looking at. Wow. Thank you, SHF. Very big alarm. Um, CD compiler. Because uh, they also, yeah, they changed everything, right? GAT, TC. Why does it just say not to miss now? Oh wow, subscribe. Wow, thanks Adam. Wow. Uh, Alright, let's go. I think it's in errors and then hold. Yes. Alright, so the actual code is here. Um, yeah. So, what do we want to do? First of all, here we have uh, the whole tie, right? And we want to see if it's unconstrained. So what we're going to do is essentially, you know, when... Um, What we're going to do when this is actually built. I mean, it's still running, right? Um, we're just going to run it and build it again. So it won't have to build the stage one, right? We'll give it the freeze stage one flag. So it's not going to take 10 minutes. And uh, I mean, this is very zen though, right? You can just look at a bunch of nice text output scrolling by. I mean, you just sit there and you're just talking, right? But you feel like you're doing something. You know, you remember the classic XKCD, right? My code is compiling. I mean, this is not my code, but it is compiling, right? All right. Uh, yeah. Once you see this scroll by, it's usually not too bad, right? Okay. Um, so, what will 
a completely unconstrained all type look like so we don't actually have to do this in GAC right so uh, because I mean we're just waiting for GAC to compile uh, let's go into dynamic Haskell plugin and in the dynamic Haskell plugin no we don't actually write any home fits right uh, let's go to follow up because I was talking about this in my uh, in my follow up meeting. So here we have a plugin that takes in the whole fit plugin, right? Now the whole fit plugin actually gets past the actual home, right? Uh, so this module, so this module actually takes in the typed home. Um, so we're gonna say your whole at, and then we are just gonna say do and we're gonna say ppr panic tie hole okay ppr home okay and yeah we're just gonna write in gaci test plugin and it's going to compile and we set f plugin equals test plugin and then we say underscore okay and yeah okay so this is actually not quite the same because it is an io okay um so we should write here uh vim test file dot hs uh, here we write a uh, options uh, f plug equal test plugin and here we just write underscore main io main plus putster and then roll. okay and then we say just f with no type f equals underscore okay let's see if we can actually compile test file Okay, it, it actually does say compiling test plugin. Ooh. This is bizarre, right? Uh, normally we wrap these things up in like a cabal package, right? And then they know about each other. Um, maybe if I do it this way. Okay, um, uh, let's see. Let's just initialize Cabal right here, and then we can just, yeah, just put it all in the same place. Okay, um, and then app. Plugin and then main, main .hs. Okay, and let's now compile build this. Let's see. It I don't, I don't think uh, yeah okay I think it's because it will say that follow up cabal follow up cabal 
Uh, still running. Um, uh, I think I see here additional values. Oh, what is it called? What is it called? Additional uh, exposed modules. Exposed module. You hear that sometimes when I talk and the fan is going really hard? It bleeds into the noise. I might need to do something about that. Um, come on, Jules. Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay, I will just add uh, exposed modules. Test one. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, yeah, unknown field. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's other modules. But it's just, it's just not finding... This, this is a weird thing going on here, right? Let me just go then to a repository where I know it works. Come on, run. So here we have a plugin going already. Check out this. Uh, let's go to a new branch. And let's go to the grid plugin. And then this is all stuff. Um, And here we have a whole fit plugin. Yes. Okay. Um, delete everything. And just delete. And delete. And delete. Okay. And what we want to do is for the whole, we can uh, just return F. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, we will say PPR panic, PPR, uh, PPRH, return F, and this is also not supposed to be here. And then we will these, okay, no, Cabal run test. I have seen. Okay, now I need to edit test IFC. Um, by simply removing everything. Okay, uh, here I have uploaded the plugin and everything is good. Okay, um, so this did work. Uh, yeah, if it actually compiles. I mean, I deleted everything and maybe that killed something. We'll see. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, builds. And of course, because there is no typed hole, it doesn't actually do anything. So let's say f equals 
was for. And we build it. Okay, and the typed host has implic level, skull, um, no EQ, true. Status unsolved, given wanted okay so you can see that it has a scolum and the entire type is just the skull um so let's inspect this a bit more do 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 so i so i mean and that sounds i mean that makes sense right so we have a like a completely unconstrained type variable right that is just this golem. And let's actually see here. This is a die H uh, F and then a what is in scope for type holes. Uh, relevant CTs, implics, and then the hole itself. So we know we have a hole, we will have the hole. Uh, it, wait, how, what is it? TH hole. Let's see. Uh, I think it's actually not TH hole anymore in this version. Let's just say PPR underscore um, dollar uh, is just and then underscore and then it will actually tell us. The one in scope, which is a maybe, which is going to be a hole. See, this is detective work, right? Bum, bum, ba -dum. Uh, Thai HCT, right? Yeah, it changed names between, uh, between stuff. HCT equals just ty, just CT and then I also want the implex. Let's print out the uh, CT and the imps. All right, no, it's probably not TH implex ty H ty. H imps. I forgot how it was in GHC 8.10.4. Um, package GHC 8.10. Just go here uh, to the docs. And we find a type of. Oh. Oh, easy all errors. Do, 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 tie H implex. Exactly. Yeah, tie H implex. Let's see. See what happens. So the hole is um, it's completely unconstrained type variable, right? Um, because I think I have some, uh, this is taking quite long, right? So, um, because I think I, if I remember correctly, I like build the type with the relevant implex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, this is rough, guys. Relevant CTs is very good. Um, TC, where do I actually construct it with the types? I, so, I mean, the trick is here, right? So if I have, um, F show of A, right? I mean, here, the implics will, like, I mean, it will look the same, right? But, like, it will not have any relevant givens, right? So, 
Um, actually, let's, uh, let's not do it this way. Let's, uh, HC, it will run HC, it will return F, where, and here we write, fun, a, fun, I, H, uh, F, equals, do, lift, IO, dollar, uh, show, uh, I usually do this, put string, ln, show s doc and save dollar ppr dollar ct and this is will be the imps and then i return f okay let's see what this does um imps is applied what is the type implication right A lot of errors a little indentation can cause, right? Yeah. Uh, Alright, this should be H. F. F. Okay, I don't actually care about the fits here. Um, Pun is related to what you argument, yeah. Fun is of type type all to uh, TCM. Right, let's see what happens. How do you plan on addressing suggestions like id underscore in the case where the hole is actually constrained? I mean, so those only happen in the abstract refinement hole fits, right? Um, uh, so we will have to, we'll have to see, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what we, what we can do there, right? Um, I mean, one, one route would just be say, you know, if you're going with the if you want refinement hole fits, right? Are you going to be mad that it's a bit slower? But I mean, that's a cop out, right? Uh, we will, we'll have to look at what the actual types involved there are, right? But I mean, the trick is that we, we actually build an entirely unconstrained type variable, and then we suggest a function of that type, right? Um, yeah, we could have a look, right? You know, if, um, I mean, we, yeah. Maybe we should like check that the so I think what will happen there is that um, it will probably so I think the type checker will during type checking of id underscore um, I think it will unify the type area with something in the case of something interesting right but otherwise it will not um yeah i mean that is also like another point right um You know, uh, here, right? Like, like you know, because we can always suggest head underscore. Um, 
you know, we can always suggest, you know, id of underscore. Um, we can always suggest, you know, head of underscore kind of just, um, you know, put it in a list somehow. And that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not very useful, right? I mean, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, definitely, if we can make that useful, that will be very good, right? Uh, but I think, uh, I mean, this will not, I'm not, I'm not gonna finish this tonight, right? Yeah, exactly. If a list with the appropriate type is in scope. But, um, we don't really check that, right? So we don't, don't, we don't, uh, you know, we don't recursively check that, um, yeah, I mean, so th that would be a lot more work, right? You know, like check, check if the hole would work, right? And then if you find a kind of re relevant fit, then you would check whether anything in scope has that type. Um, I mean, because I, I mean, because okay, so so what I'm saying is, you know, if I have head underscore, right, and that would be a, a, a relevant fit if there is a list in scope which has the correct type, right? But in order to detect that, I actually have to look. I have to check everything in scope. And I have to see, um, can it match the type of the hole? Right. Because So I, I can't go from, you know, type to everything in scope of that type. I always have to give it an identifier. And then the type checker has to check, can I solve this constraint? Um, and that is especially, you know... That becomes very hard, especially when you have like very hard dependent types, right? Or very hard constraints to solve, right? Because it's not just that, you know, something which matches the string that could directly fit. I mean, and that, that's what Hoogle does, right? And Hoogle works fine, right? But Hoogle really only, um, only checks for these strings, right? Whereas uh, the valid hole fits, they are checking for like actual... Um, running the actual type checker to see if it actually fits so i think uh maybe we'll save that for later right so what i'm what i'm trying to focus on now is you know because valid whole fits are enabled by default um so because they're enabled by default they should be fast right um and then i think i think we will make it into another patch or bug fix right making abstract refinement whole fits more useful uh, and faster, right? Um, because it's, otherwise it would be very hard, right? Okay. Um, so here we have F show of A, right? And then we have F2. Okay, so, no, this one is actually not good, right? We want show of underscore. We don't, so what we did previously, so we actually, we gave the type variable a name, right? And that's why it had... Why does it now give it... We got like a, 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 a more funky type before, right? In the for type of F2. But it was like a weird scolum, right? Why is it not doing that anymore?
Maybe that was just GHCI? No. There we got the IO one, right? Oh, right. So you see here it says show S stock unsafe, right? But if I do PPR panic, PPR daughter, PPR a CT comma imps. So what happens there is that it becomes less funky because it's gone through show S stock, right? And show S stock will actually sonk things. Right, see? So it shows it that it's T, um, but it is actually, you know, proper scolum. Um, because we, we, yeah, we, we don't want to sonk it, right? <sighs> okay. Yeah, so GHC is still building. But yeah, it's good we can be kind of figuring out what we want to do while it's, while it's, um, while it's uh, building, right? Okay, let's see. So I think the trick is that, you know, they're completely unconstrained. So if the type of the hole is one type variable, right? And that type variable is not mentioned by any of the givens or, okay, so, Oh yeah, so the givens came from the the, the givens came from the uh, yeah. So here we will actually use the relevant constraints, right? We have here um, relevant relevant CTs, right? So we will take take the type. Right, and we we will take the uh, the other wanteds, right? And um, if the if if the type of the hole is not mentioned by any other wanted, right? That means that there is no constraint on that hole, right? Because there's no other constraint mentioning that hole. And then it's completely unconstrained, right? So it's going to be unconstrained if there are no relevant constraints, right? That seems... That seems good, right? Seems like it's exactly what we want, right? Let me see. Do, 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 do. Can you hear that? It was like... <sighs> anyway, I'll have to see what I can do about that. Didn't really set this up uh, with my fan going, right? Oh, maybe it sounds okay. Alright, um... So we have here... Okay, so... Okay, let's see. Um, so now we'll actually just copy over the uh, relevant constraints, right? Because so they're exported in the current version of uh, GEC, or actually not the current version, but like if you go to the like a recent enough GEC, like I think nine point zero point two. Relevant constraints will actually be exported, but currently they're not exported. So we will see here. 
Okay, yeah, let's wait. For all who for all a b who equals b where b type b equals a i mean yeah that will that will be a that then we would have to search for everything in scope but that is not an un completely unconstrained hole right there is a constraint there so it, it's very hard for us to detect whether whether a constraint is trivial right yeah what a program like But you see what I mean, right? That um, that if we had this case, then um, we would not actually have. Let me open this. We would not actually have like a completely unconstrained hole, right? Let's copy it. Yeah, I mean, so here you're saying kind of unconstrained, right? And then. Then we need like to define a metric of you know what what does kind of unconstrained mean right okay, i have to enable all the language extensions language a rank and types i need scoped type variable type operators i think i think that's it Go pet type variables, variables, variables. Let's see. Um, all right, this needs, needs to be, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just see what we end up with here. Dee 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 dee. God damn it. Okay, a. Uh, G-A-D-D-E-S Okay um, Yes So show an F2 And then here This is the second one Yeah Um Okay. So that's a trick here, right? I mean, here, um, I'm not sure we're doing this correctly, right? Because I mean, we're not getting, we're not getting all the fits, right? Like we're not actually, it's not actually showing everything in scope, right? I mean, so yeah, to address this one, right? Um, I mean, this is not even completely unconstrained, right? 
it's um i mean we we have we have foo here and we have b right so and they have the correct type so i mean i mean it doesn't make sense but we could kind of recursively call it or something like that um but yeah so i'm not sure we can deal with these cases Now I'm wondering, like, uh, what does it even mean? Because we, we see these cases, right? Like these completely unconstrained ones. Um, okay, let's import all of these. And then we just say... A equals underscore. Right, no, I need test IFC and test that cabal. Is the prim Okay, so they're saying that this takes four minutes. Is it just not doing it for me? Yeah, exactly. I mean, so I agree. I mean, this is something that's definitely an interesting case, right? Um, but... Let's let's see if like making the other thing just work is good enough, right? And then because this is like this is additional logic and that's more code and that needs to be maintained and then it's a bit a bit hard to get uh, to make a case for. So here here's what I don't get, right? Okay, so now I have this module, right? Okay, test IFC, test.hs, right? I have this module. And I'm doing the same as Adam Gundry, right? Why does this take a second to compile? Okay, I will need to cabal build test ISC. Okay, yeah. So this takes a second and a half to compile. And then if we do F no show valid hole fits. Well, let me time it okay so now it takes user 1.3 seconds and with no show valid toll fits it's taking i mean there's not a huge difference here right So yeah, I'm gonna have to think a bit about how to actually test this, right? The atom is also, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really work for me to test it this way because okay, Vulcan. Um, uh... 
what do we have import data dot list import data dot maybe import map uh we need to add containers and let's add a uh, let's add gc here and let's import that as well right what do i import here um ghc plugins something like that right yeah let's just import all of these Yeah, I just don't want to uh, have to download something and build it, right? These are all kind of included. Okay, let's um, um... Okay, I'll, I'll get walking. And what did you import? Just just import Vulcan. going on downloading starting i mean it's not doesn't seem to have a lot of dependencies that's good but i hope uh Not a very important password, but yeah. Uh, oh. Yes. And we're 47 minutes in to building GC. Uh, I mean, we've been doing other stuff in the meantime, but uh, it is quite heavy to build, right? doing tc and stage one right so it's not too bad all right i think that was enough <sighs> yes so i think this will be a problem right because i'm running it on vsl 2 um and it doesn't actually have uh, it doesn't actually have um It doesn't have GPU acceleration yet, right? So... I'm not sure which one of those... Yeah, exactly. Hmm... Context. 
Alright, I did it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the tricky try to pull. Okay, now let's build and see. Yeah, so this is also an issue because they change the names of everything, right? Uh, I think this was the one was called which is Xfer. I mean, so it happened after this one, right? Um, so it actually... So so in here, the language Haskell syntax hadn't happened, right? So... Um, what I usually... Wait, how was it? What I usually do is that I, uh... okay, but this one took 10 seconds, right? No, it took 10 seconds the first time. Okay. Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay. If I import this then language that has called syntax expression, we Google that. complaining that it like was missing a package right otherwise yeah I would have said like member of the hidden package right um so what I will do what I was trying to do is I'm going to and I get to grab this string um okay and then we go into name compiler language Haskell syntax x for hs and you see that it has what does it export okay it just exports everything so we find something in this file uh, like HS app, and then we look for HS app on Google. 
Because Google is still on the old system. S is in expression. It's just not taking it's just not taking that long <laughs> right um okay I, no i'll just uh what if i just copy paste the entire thing Should have three arguments and then everything changed of course page is par Now it's going slow, which is good. Okay. Um, okay, it's going slow and we can see that, I mean, these are not unconstrained holes, right? These are holes, which should be an int. Right, um, and still going pretty slow. All right, we got GHC built. I think Hadrian was smart enough to like freeze it. Uh, what does it want? Uh, Hadrian flags. Let's see. Uh, yeah, freeze one. Okay, nice. J, freeze one. This is the one we want to be figuring out, right? Yep. Okay, I mean, it's, it's just doing freeze one. I haven't changed anything. It takes 20 seconds. Okay, uh, let's see. Can I do like Hadrian test? How do I do the test again? I just write Hadrian build test only and then D -d 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 -d. Hadrian build to see um, I mean because the hard whole fits test doesn't have any error output right do 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 
Let's see what happens. But, um... Okay, but these were not... Not unconstrained at all, right? Let me see. Check the plugin. Let's see how many fits we are checking here. We can't. HC return C. Okay, so now we're checking 2,254 candidates, right? Okay, and it doesn't work. Because... Hmm... Okay, how do I require... How do I require the test? Set package GTI. Maybe I can just say that in the anything. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens. Turn the music out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um. Right. And how do I do accept? Do, 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 do. Well, okay, um, test way. Okay, yeah, I will do test accept. Yeah, and then it will save the new file. Um, but we actually. How do we set the timeout for the test? Um, because now you want to do like a perf test, right? Mm. 
Let me see. That seems good. And where was this timeout? Second argument. Hard. Okay. So now we will timeout after after three seconds. So if it takes longer than three seconds, which is... Oh. It will fail, right? Um, expected passes. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, this. Make it 300 milliseconds. Ding, ding. Okay, nice. Yeah. Um, timeout happened. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's actually change this to something that, you know, like a second. So that would be three, four, nine hundred milliseconds. And yeah, okay. So let's try and make it happen under, under a second. Do, 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 do. Because, you know, because uh, really, when this was first written, right, it didn't really, um, we don't really consider the concept of, of multiple holes, right? Um, because what we actually see is that we just see, we just see each hole as it comes, right? Um, which is why it also, like, we don't have any, we don't have any cash, Right? We don't have any... So like in this example, right? It's checking for ints again, 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 right? Let's see. Uh, how long does it take to compile? So this one took... Right. Let's see that here, right? This takes 13 seconds. Um, but if we do... Have no show valid hole fits. Let's just see how long this takes. Okay, I'll build it again. Because we're actually. Okay, so that took. Two seconds. So, you know, that would be really nice, SHF, but, um, but I'm with what I'm worried about there is that, I mean, then I have to mess with, mess with the HIE files, right? Is, uh, I want to try and do this in, in like a non-invasive way, right? So 
So, you know, it would be really nice if we could just place stuff in the HIE files, right? But then, um, then the type 12 fits are kind of taking up a lot of space. And, uh, you know, I'm treading in other, other people's territories, right? I mean, which might be okay, right? But then I have to argue for it. So let's see if we can make it. Make it nice, right? Um, yeah, I'm going to give this about 20 more minutes today. Um, um, and then... Because uh, it's getting quite late here, right? Uh, let me see. I will also fork GHC again and go to my fork. Yes. And then I, what I have to do, I already have my fork here, right? No, this is not the fork. It's this. Git branch v. Okay, git checkout v fix. And this one is one six eight seven five. One six eight seven five. Status. Git add test suite test type check should should compile git status commit am add add timeout test for hard all fits. Wait, where is the branch called again? Yeah. Git push remote. Git push fork. Fork uh, fix one six eight seven five. Set upstream. Yeah. Just have the have this here. And then you can also check it out if you want, right? Okay. Um, so to optimize it for multiple holes, we could have some sort of cache, right? And to see... Uh, see what happens. Compiler GC error TC errors all that HS. Okay, and this is Cabal. No, this is Adrian Bill test only equals hard, hard all fits. Okay, this is what we're going to be doing. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll need to... Right. So first we just need to check, right? Uh, we just add a flag. And if we have too many candidates, we just don't try, right? Uh, 
Okay. Okay, we do this after the candidates have run, right? So that, you know, if you have too many, but you filter them out, that's okay, right? Um, if length can... Uh, you know, here we would can limit, um, get that from the dynamic flag. Of course, this is not in the dynamic flag just yet. Uh, so we'll just say, can Max valid all fit cans can limit return thousand. If the there are more than the if there are more than the limit, then can. Okay, so the trick here is that, you know, people might write fit plugins, right? So we actually want the whole thing, all those things to run. We just want it to be, to not run. Um, to just, just, just have no candidates, right? Okay, so we will say here, cans. Okay, it goes to do uh, base. Cans is this. Uh, base cans, and then if a length can can limit, then uh, and this can limit will be something we say you know it's five hundred by default or you know whatever whatever is not crazy right. Then a uh, um turn else return base cans it would be cool if we could you know um somehow sort the candidates based on likelihood right um and just say you know take the most likely candidates in this case right let's write that down What's going here? Should we try to pay? So the most likely entities are definitely, you know, the locals. Um, right?
Anyway, if we limit it to, you know, a thousand, this will definitely work, right? Because it will just not do anything. Oh, uh, well, it will actually return a different, different output, right? Uh, cans, right. Just links. Space. Cans. Now, is it building everything again? I think it's building everything again. Uh, oops. Maybe it's too late, probably. Right. Freeze one. I think I have to say freeze one to test also. Okay. Saying stage one. That's good. That is promising. He's a fine comb. Right. Let's see what happens now. I think we'll see what happens now and then we'll just call it quits for today. Because it is... Uh, quite late but i'll i'll go again have another go tomorrow evening so from maybe yeah eight ish um swedish time see what happens and i'll be at it for you know a lot, a lot more hours Dun, 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 dun. Timeout happened again. Really? I think this is what I thought would happen, right? It would return, but it's it's still time timing out there. Which is bizarre, right? Let's just see. Let's just PPR panic. <laughs> Checking my phone. While compiling. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Doop doop. Boo doop boop 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 boop. So otherwise, um, it's always timing out, right? Um, without let me see. Let 
Let's give this something better. Three seconds. It seems like it's not evaluating that branch, right? Um... Yeah, maybe. Um, that would be very weird, though, because it's just it it's just taking the data that's already there. That, I mean, that is a good point, right? And if we can fix it without having to mix with the type machinery, that would be great, right? Now we, right, okay, so we only have 537 candidates here, but it's still, it's, oh, right, yeah, okay, so in the, yeah, okay. But yeah, let's check out that, um, that theory, right? So now we saw how long it took. And now it should take much slower, right? So now we, we're checking uh, under, under a second. Yeah, okay, and we still hit this case, right? But it's just that this can limit is too low. But I feel like, you know, just in the prelude, there are more than 200 functions, right? Let me see how many there are just in the prelude. Okay, I mean, there's 200 candidates in the prelude. Uh, I mean, okay, and this is for an unconstrained hole, right? So for an int, it's not too bad, right? Half of a half a second, but for and now it's half a second again. Okay, um, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. Is it really been... Is it is it really taking half a second? Just in the prelude with one hole? We need to make that faster, right? Because I feel like I've seen these times being way faster, right? And of course, this is, you know.
This is not... I mean, it's, it's not the hole itself, right? So here we are searching for three holes. And then it's only taking... Like 623, right? Let's search for 10 holes. Because we... Otherwise, we're just measuring... Uh, the time it takes to do everything, right? Okay, with 10 holes, it takes a second. But if I say F no show valid hole... Fits. It takes 353 seconds. Uh, point. Okay, so 10 holes take 700 milliseconds, right? So each hole takes 70 milliseconds. Yeah. So for 200, for 300 candidates, each hole takes 70 milliseconds. Right? Of course, it's, you know, not, yeah. Yeah, so this is... So, if you have 10 holes... Um, and it's just a prelude... It takes 70 milliseconds, right? To check all the fits for that hole. And the entire prelude takes 70 milliseconds to check. If you import all the stuff Adam Gunnery imported. Then it took longer per one hole, right? We have to be very careful with time measurements here. So it's one second minus, so it's like, yeah. Somewhere in milliseconds. Okay, I think uh, I think we'll stop there today because it's like half past twelve and I have work in the morning. Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, it's I think it for especially for stuff like this where you're really trying to get a feel of what is good and what is not good. Uh, it's very good to have someone else here, right? Especially, I really like, you know, we will throw in this, uh, this example here, right? Oh, no. Okay. Anyway, with the, with the, we will think about, uh, we need to think about, um, uh, we can, so what have we learned so far? We can, uh, okay. What? Let me open up City. Uh, that's what I use to take notes. Give me a few seconds and open up uh, here. Rename it a uh, fixing sixteen seventy five. It's eight seven five. Whatever. Okay. What have we learned? Uh, okay. Now this is just. 
This is not right here. Um, what have we learned? Ten holes for the prelude takes approximately 700 milliseconds more than with F nozzle. So each hole is 70 milliseconds longer than just the prelude on average. Okay, uh, this is one thing we learned. Another thing we've learned is that we can check for unconstrained holes by checking that there are no that a that the uh, Type of the hole is a type variable with no relevant 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 constraints. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, yeah, and then we have this one because uh, I wanna I wanna throw this in. There are examples of almost unconstrained, like here. Then I'll do this. Uh, where the I guess where the hole has a equality constraint with an unconstrained uh, okay um Right. Scolum type variable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Have to say scolum. Um, and uh, the prelude has two hundred seventy functions. But the bad example of test uh, of a. Uh, Matthews uh, has only 571 functions and the are all int yet they take 10 seconds whereas the prelude takes 700 milliseconds uh, I mean these are yeah but there are more holes though right uh, but, but more holes. maybe the the identifiers in scope have harder types That could be right. Maybe they have a bunch of constraints on them, and we could somehow detect that. And yeah. Um, one approach is to check the best candidates by somehow sorting them before checking them. Okay, I think this is what kind of we've learned so far uh, about this bug and what we want to try and do. Let me, let me actually, yeah. 
think we should put this into GHC, right? Uh, compiler GHC DC uh, errors hold on DHS edit a uh, and let's just throw in a note here that we will probably throw out there but like just currently uh note yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it all fits are slow like this okay um and then let's throw vip here and the issue is yeah exactly uh valid hole fits are slow yes everything i is you one six eight seven five uh, uh we are trying to figure out exactly uh, why and what we can possibly do about it what have we learned so far okay let's uh, so this is was like uh let's uh put this in kind of order okay um all right so this is kind of where we are right now let me actually um and leave it let me change this back to what it was and then we can just push this with only the what we learned to fix a uh, six eight seven five we should probably do something here sing here and see no Spaces and okay. You commit am uh, give status. Git add compiler. Git status. Oh no. Git restore staged compiler. Gc gc errors dot holy. Git commit, uh, git commit m. Oops. VIP edit note about current investigation. Do. And then this will, uh, I mean, we will squash this all together. 
um, eventually, right? So we won't have the note and we won't have the, the VIP commits and whatever. All right. You can check out the note and the commits on the JSA repository. Uh, sorry we didn't make it very far today. But, you know, we're, we're... We're, I mean, we're trying to figure, learn, right? Um, you know, it's not just like, oh, it, it's doing it wrong. I mean, it's doing the right thing. It's just doing it in, in not a good way, right? So I think this we we need to explore a little bit here um, what we can do and what we can fix and, and how we do it. All right. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll probably probably go at it again tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, hope to see you there if you have time. And thanks for showing up. It's been really great uh, having some company, right? Otherwise, I'd just be uh, all alone thinking about it, uh, which is fine. It's uh, just more fun to have someone to talk to. All right. Thanks for the stream. And uh, yeah, hope to see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.